Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. I'm going to throw out another video quick fix on the Q system. If you guys have this issue, now if you guys don't know, obviously you guys know it because you guys are watching this video, you guys are having issues with the Q system with in your Cadillac, obviously. So, uh, you guys know what the deal is with the Q system. Apparently, it's a manufacturer defect. I think they actually put out bullets in for it, uh, saying that it was a manufacturer defect. I think I did a video a while ago on uh, on, on on a fix for this. And uh, if you guys looked on the internet, there's a lot of different uh, ways to do a reset on it. Actually, there's only about two that I know of. <clears throat> one of one of which involves uh, uh, pu pushing the seat up, all, all that weird stuff, all right? So if you guys have like a frozen screen or you guys have um, issues with not being able to touch anything on the screen, uh, some parts of it not working, can't you can't uh, initialize the GPS or the whole system just shuts down on you altogether out of nowhere and you, get, you guys can't uh, restart it, you guys can't, um, do the whole reset procedure guys look up uh, I'm sure you guys seen the what the pre uh, reset procedure is you do a couple of things leave the door open and then wham 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 <sighs> magic happens and it starts working again I don't know why they don't have this button that actually you just push and it just resets the system could be that easy in fact it, it, it could be that easy computers have it i think some earlier models have it but in these systems you gotta you gotta do like three four different steps and it and they're strange steps because what is the door uh being open for like a couple minutes or whatever it is i haven't actually looked up the um i haven't actually have ha i haven't actually looked up the reset procedure in a long while but i did post um another video up where uh where where i i somebody suggested and it worked for them that you actually take out the two fuses for the uh entertainment system and the radio the head unit and the radio there's two fuses uh involved uh in uh the fuse box itself where you could just take it out for a minute and then pop it back in it'll reset it fine all right if you guys don't know now you guys know you guys could do that simple enough you guys want a simpler a simpler reset a simpler hard reset on the system i'm gonna give it to you because that's what you're here for you guys want me to tell you what is the simplest thing you can do to reset it a lot of you guys do not have that little door um, compartment where you have to open it up for like a minute or two I've, I've read a couple comments and a lot of you guys do not have that door in some of these um, uh, vehicles and I'm gonna tell you what you guys um, can do okay now in in my other video I did say a change out the battery a lot of times particularly if you get like the whole entire system shutting down on you and you can't restart it everything's dead no lights even the ones on the steering wheel the buttons they're dead the screen is dead everything is dead you can't get it started you can't you can't go into it you can't even go into it to redo the starting system to to, to redo uh the reset the hard reset procedure wait till you guys hear this okay First thing, check out your battery. Make sure that your battery is good. If your battery is is not good, or if your battery is like three to four years old, probably help you guys. You should help you guys. You should you should help your situation out and change out that battery because batteries are only good for around four years, three sometimes three, sometimes four, and then they go downhill. Now, a lot of the Q system issues have uh, have to do with the battery. Because a lot, of, I think I think these vehicles have this uh, stop-start system, where where uh, you guys come to a complete stop, it, it runs off the battery. Now, if the battery doesn't have enough juice to actually run the accessories, obviously that's all going to cut out on you. So, if you guys need to replace the battery, replace the battery. That's one. Two, um, 
the fuses. All right, there's a, there's one fuse for the radio. There's another fuse for the entertainment system. Pop both those out, and then for a minute, and then pop them back in, and then try to restart it. Hopefully that works. However, um, there's an easier way uh, with the situation uh, that you guys do not even have to go to the fuse box. That is, if you guys take the cables off the battery. If you guys take the negative cable off the battery for a minute or two, and then put the cable back uh, on. And, and then restart it, restart your vehicle, chances are everything's going to restart. The entertainment system, the LCD screen, the Q system, it's going to restart. Um, that has helped somebody else. I, I've heard that that has actually fixed a situation for uh, somebody uh, somebody who commented that that has fixed their situation. Um, all these things could fix your situation or you could just do try to do the hard reset you can't do the hard reset procedure do one of those three things um, that i just mentioned and it'll probably reset your q system and get it to work again all right now if you guys have your own other personal experiences with this where you guys fixed it another way which i doubt that you guys will have because i think i actually went through all the ways you guys can actually reset the system Besides changing the Q, Q um, besides changing the whole LCD head unit out, which some people have done, swapped it out, which some people have done, but you don't want to go to that step because it gets kind of expensive and uh, you're going to have to buy a head unit. You're going to have to swap it out. Time consuming if you do it on your own. Expensive, you pay somebody to do it. And it doesn't mean if you guys replaced it, it doesn't mean that that whole situation won't come back. It probably will because there is a bulletin from GM on this issue with the Q system. It's a manufacturer uh, defect. And uh, let me just stop talking. If you guys have any questions, definitely drop a question in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Hope this has helped you guys out. You guys get your Q system fixed. All right, guys. Take care.